Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Easeful Energetics. We're normally on a Wednesday and I want to let everyone know who's tuning in on the replay on the podcast that you can join the Easeful Energetics community by heading to the show notes, checking out that link. Come join us. We have lives every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Europe time, 7 a.m. UK time. Not sure what time that is for people listening into in America and different places in the world, but you can always tune in to the replays. So wherever you are, wherever you're listening, take a breath and drop in. Today we're going to talk about something that I think has come up a lot for me in the past two weeks. And I think for a lot of us, we're at a place in our lives where the outside world is super confusing, doesn't make sense, we're not really sure where our path is taking us, some of you it might be really chaotic, it might feel like you're struggling, you might feel the heaviness and I want to talk about how during this period the importance of embracing what is embracing life exactly as it is in this moment whether you're in challenge whether you're in times that feel really nourishing and exciting for you fully embracing and feeling what is available to you in this moment from what is happening in your life I think embracing what is can feel really difficult for a lot of us, especially when we're in moments of hardship, moments that feel challenging. And to embrace what is almost seems like we're fully surrendering and giving up to creating something more expansive than the situation that we're currently in. From my experience, I found that when we embrace what is, when we accept life exactly as what we're experiencing right now in this moment, we actually allow the charge, allow the charge that is creating this inner chaos and inner resistance to the life that we're experiencing, the situation that we're experiencing, it actually creates a sense of inner peace when we accept life as it is, when we embrace life as it is. And what do I mean by embracing life as it is? Because like I said earlier, it almost feels like, are we giving up? Are we saying that this is the only way we're going to experience life? And that's not what this is at all. Embracing life as it is, is actually about being in the moment being in the moment and allowing your body to feel everything that this situation is triggering or is initiating within yourself. Because in these moments, when we're feeling the emotions and when we're feeling the things that are being brought up in our own system, we're actually allowing the body to heal on its own through life. Often in this industry, especially, we can talk about healing and we think, okay, I've got to go outside and meditate now. I've got to go and journal. I've got to go and do some shadow work. I've got to read this book. And we actually don't realize that life is trying to heal us every moment when we are present with it. When we breathe, when we show up in ourselves in that moment, and say, I'm willing, I'm willing to receive like what is here right now, what my experience currently is. And to receive the experience doesn't mean we have to fully feel the intensity of the moment. It can simply mean we can, we allow ourselves to feel it a little bit more than we did yesterday. So for me, yesterday morning, I had a lot of grief come up, a lot of shame come up that I've been over the past two weeks, chipping away at um, as I've allowed myself each day to feel whatever was coming up. And I don't really know the source of this grief. I don't know the source of source of the shame. I know some things that have happened in my life that contribute to it. But by allowing myself to simply be 
with the feelings that are coming up and the situations that are creating these feelings and listen to the body in those moments. So that might be taking a rest, moving, going for a walk, sleeping. The other day I slept for five extra hours in the evening because my body was like, we need to rest. This is me allowing myself to embrace what is. This is me allowing myself to be led by life in my healing, in my growth. Because life is here to work for you, to work in co-creation with you. And all we have to allow ourselves to do is open up to receive that, right? And when we open up to receive that, we open up not only to the healing that is available in that moment through working with our lives, we also open ourselves up to new insight, new resources, new ideas that weren't there before because we're being present to be shown those things. And often you might hear, especially in this space, like now is the only thing that is real. Now is all that matters. Everything else is an illusion. And I kind of want you to think about this in a different way because it can often feel a bit overwhelming to think, well, there's no future, there's no past. Am I not meant to be creating goals? Am I not meant to be reflecting back on things that have happened? And I don't believe that that is the the case at all. I think what we can do is work harmoniously with the intentions we're setting for the direction that we want to take in our life. And intentions doesn't mean you have to know what you want. Intentions for me is like, I want to experience more ease. I want to play more. I want to be more in my authentic self. I want to feel a little bit more spacious than I did yesterday. I want to be able to love the anxiety that surfaces in moments when I feel scared. We often think our intentions have to be these big grand things of, I want to make this much money. I want to become this person. I want to make this happen in my life. And we forget that actually the smallest shifts that we create within ourselves through that internal focus of telling the body, like, take me to situations, take me to things that bring me more love, that bring me more ease. Then often the, the bigger goals become the byproducts of those intentions. Yeah, beautiful. So many people live in the kind, always moving on the go. If we're present with the body, it will guide us. Exactly. Thank you for that lovely comment there. I think this is Annabelle. I can't see your name, but <laughs> thank you, my love. It does. It's always guiding us. It's always guiding us. And then we can work with setting these intentions and be present because we're still being present. We're not looking to that intention in the future as the source of our fulfillment we're here we're now and we're also at the same time seeing how we can walk a path that expands what is now and then we're also reflecting back on the past and how the past has how the past has led us to where we are in this moment so I like to work with the past through healing so sometimes you can be healing through things and it's 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 nourishing and it's supportive in that moment to look at how situations in your past may have shaped the lens that you're perceiving this situation in. So for example, if you're noticing a lot of tension in your body because someone has left your life or someone has rejected you, it can be useful to reflect back on where in my childhood did I experience this? Where am I wearing this lens of abandonment means death? Abandonment means I'm alone. Abandonment means I'm not enough. but we're still doing it from this present moment awareness of being with life. We're not going back into the past to bring everything up, to resurface everything and kind of bring it with us in this moment or try to recreate. We're using the past as a reflection tool to change the perspective that we're using, that we're wearing in this moment in the way that we're perceiving the situation. And what that does by being present with that situation, using the future, using the past to reflect as a tool, we're then 
allowing real change to happen, real shifts to happen. And this is not always immediate, right? This is about noticing the small things that happen, the small shifts that happen when you first focus on your internal peace, your inner peace, and let the outside be a reflection of that. When you're present with the body in this moment, when you're present with what's coming up in this moment, then life knows that you're available to receive, that you are here, that you are now, that life can send you the resources to support you, that life can send you the miracles that you didn't even know were possible. Because you're showing life, you're safe to receive everything that is here right now in this moment. And that means embracing what's here. And if what is here for you is grief, if what is here for you is pain, embrace that. Even just a little bit more today, how can you embrace the heaviness? How can you receive the heaviness? Because remember, emotion is energy in motion. It needs to move through your system in order to release. And as it's moving through your system, as it's, as you're feeling your way through it, it is not who you are. When we use the the sentence, I am angry, or I am sad, or I am in pain, We create an identity out of an emotion that is a temporary state. And then it kind of gets locked in our body, in our nervous system. And we sometimes find that we end up creating situations through this perspective because we're saying, I am angry. So that is what we're expecting to experience in our lives. I am an angry person. I'm just like that. But what if... It wasn't who you were. What if who you were was underneath all of this? And this can feel quite big for a lot of you and that's okay. Like just allow yourself to receive the words that I'm saying and feel into how it resonates within your own system. When you receive an emotion without identifying with it, it allows it to move through you. It allows it to release. And this comes in, what I've found through my experiences, this comes in layers. So like I mentioned over the past two weeks, I've been moving through this shame, moving through this grief, and each day it's moving at a different layer. But each time it gets easier because I meet that heaviness, I meet that resistance, I meet that shame, I meet that anger and say, I'm ready to receive you, I'm ready to feel you, I'm ready to cry, I'm ready to let things move through me, to create the space for something new to come in, to create the space that then supports you and the intentions that you're creating for your life. But it starts here, it starts now, it starts being present with what is. Yeah, exactly. I've got this comment here, reflect and appreciate how far we've come. I don't think any of us give ourselves credit for what we have overcome on our journey so far. Mm, This is such an important thing. This is such an important thing to do. Like we have the hindsight and that is what gives us the the learnings and the wisdom and the the appreciation for what we're experiencing. But what if we could experience that appreciation in the moment? What if we could be with what we're experiencing and say, thank you. Thank you for this experience, for expanding me beyond my own perspective, for allowing me to release what is stuck within my system, for allowing me to see what I could not see within myself that was unconscious to me. Thank you, life, for bringing this to the surface. And that doesn't mean to use the gratitude as a way of avoiding the feelings, still feel the grief, still feel the pain. And at the same time, thank you. 
We are here to experience life in all its beautiful spectrum of colors. That means we're also here to experience the times that are more challenging. I was talking to someone um, a few days ago, I was out for some drinks with some friends here. And one of the things he said really stuck with me and he talked about the hero's journey and how all of us have this journey and in the moments that we have struggled or we have found that things felt challenging or things felt difficult, when we tell our story, those be- they, those moments become a source of healing for others. And right now you might not be aware, but what you're currently experiencing is laying the foundations for your story that is going to serve other people. Everything I have experienced in my life that in the moment I thought would kill me, I thought this is it, like how am I ever going to get through this? has been the medicine, has been the foundation for what I do now, for my ability to hold space for people at a depth that I would not be able to hold space for unless I hadn't held space for that within myself already, that I hadn't moved through that darkness. All of those things have served me. And that's not to say we have to have struggle or we have to have pain, but it's to say we get to work with those moments when when that pain surfaces. And the reason I, I the reason I call my work useful energetics is because I believe that we can meet all of these moments that feel challenging, that feel that feel heavy with ease when we learn to work with the body, when we learn to breathe, when we learn to move energy with ease through that breath through that taking it slow and connecting to ourselves because that connection to ourselves is what really allows us to process and release emotions and this is where we lead an easeful and a liberated life because these emotions are no longer ruling our system they're no longer guiding our body we're not being led by the anger, we're not being led by the shame. We're holding space for it within ourselves, like you would a child. (sighs) So whatever came up for you in today's today's episode, I want to invite you now to, to grab your journal or to Type up on your laptop, whatever's closest to you right now in this moment. Three things that you are going to choose to embrace today, even a little bit more than you would yesterday. It doesn't have to be a full bear hug. It gets to be a little bit more than you did yesterday. One of my favorite mentors, Kim Doramo, she talks about embracing something 2% more. And I love the way she talks about this because sometimes our nervous system is not fully ready to embrace everything and move straight to forgiveness or move straight to gratitude. Sometimes we have to really allow ourselves to feel the anger and feel the pain. And it can feel scary to do that because it can feel like we're going backwards or we're going to lose ourselves in these emotions. But through my experience, I found the complete opposite. I found that when we embrace it, okay, it gets, it gets heavier at first. It feels really like you're almost just in the, in the storm, right? But then that storm calms and then that storm releases, that storm goes. Whereas when we're repressing or avoiding, that storm simply continues to brew within us and build and build and build and build and build. And And it starts to lead our emotions. It starts to create our reactions. It starts to create tension in our body. And that tension in our body leads to dis-ease in our body. 
and situations in our life that are mirroring back to us this tension that we're holding within us. Whereas when we focus on receiving, when we become a great receiver for everything, when we hold space for everything, it allows it to release, it allows the body to relax, the nervous system to calm, it allows ease to happen in our inner world and then our outer world reflects that back to us or we move and take action from a place that is of deeper ease, deeper aliveness, deeper joy because we've created space for that to come through. So whatever came through to you today, writing that down now, what are three things that you are going to embrace today, even a little bit more than you did yesterday? Whatever you're currently experiencing right now in your life, know that it will pass when you meet it, when you be with it and you hold space for it. And I'd love for you to share, if you're watching this on the replay, those three things in the comments with me, or you can DM me on Instagram, at Emma Evelyn Campbell, and let me know what are the three things that you're going to embrace today a little bit more. Thank you all so much for being here. If you're wanting to dive deeper, into this work. I have recently launched my Alive six month one to one mentorship container. I'm so excited to to do this work in a new way. I have been mentoring people for a while now on different programs. And I wanted to create something that was unique to every person that came into my space because we are all one and at the same time our own bodies have different ways that we experience life, different ways that we move through life. So I wanted to create something that was to be of best service to every individual that walked into that container and that was a medicine of the things that I have experienced in my life. So you can head to the description if you're watching on YouTube or the show notes if you're listening back on the podcast. And you can explore that a little bit deeply if you feel that call within you. And this is where listening to the body is also so important. Listening to the body, like, do I feel like this is taking me in the direction of my expansion because I think a lot of us can think about mentorship and and think about doing things like this and it's important to tune into the body and and listen to that yes and follow that yes and that will lead you into the direction of your expansion of your growth thank you all so much for being here if you're looking to connect with me further head to the show notes i love to hear from you you can shoot me a message on instagram at emma evelyn campbell you can send me an email and on my website in the show notes there are lots of other ways that you can reach out and some free resources that you can that you can utilize to join this community as well i will see you all next wednesday live again in the community 8 a.m europe time 7 a.m uk time and if you can't make if you can't join us live you'll be able to watch the replay if you're watching on youtube don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button because that allows many other people in this space to find this work to connect with us um and yeah i think this is what this all is about. And thank you. Thank you. I believe it's Annabelle. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I will embrace my current situation with more empathy, embrace giving myself time, embrace that it will be all be okay. Wow. Few, three beautiful things there. Yeah. Anyway, have a lovely week, everybody. And I will see you all soon. Much love.